gather the materials shown. Obtain a pop can. Sand the pop can using 600 grit sandpaper. Remove the debris from the can. Apply neutralizer to the sanded area of the can. Rub the neutralizer using a Q-tip. Remove any excess debris with a paper towel. Apply neutralizer to a glass slate. Clean the surface and rub the neutralizer onto the glass surface with a Q-tip. Remove excess liquid with a paper towel. Obtain a rosette strain gauge. Remove gauge from packet and place on the glass slate. Hold gauge by the corner using a tweezers. Tape down the strain gauge to the glass slate. Peel back the tape to expose the rosette. Create a loop with the tape. Apply a catalyst to the rosette. Wait two minutes for the catalyst to dry. Apply M-Bond adhesive to the sanded area of the pop can. Remove tape and position rosette onto the pop can. Remove air pockets between the tape and the can. Strip six wires to attach them to the rosette. Remove the tape from the can. Tape wire lead down close to the strain gauge pad. Solder lead wire to the gauge pad. Apply a small force to the soldered wire to ensure a secure connection. Solder all six wire leads to the rosette pads. Confirm all wires are secured. Wire each gauge in a quarter bridge. Wire all gauges to the P3500 strain gauge indicator in a quarter bridge. Ensure you have quarter bridge wiring. Calibrate the amp zero to read 0000. 
Calibrate your gauge factor to the manufacturer's spec. Balance the strain to read 0000. zero, zero, zero. Repeat P3500 strain gauge indicator calibration for all strain gauges. Now open the pop can. Record all the strain values.